All right, our next guests on today, Love Fest Radio Party on Big Blend Radio is Howard and Ruth Milstein. Now, Howard is a wine expert, and Ruth is the author, well, they're husband and wife, and Ruth is the author of the Gourmand Award-winning recipe book, Cooking with Love, Ventures into the New Israeli Cuisine. It's available on Amazon.com and all those online stores, uh, but you can go directly to her website, RuthMilstein.com. It's a great place to go because you can also watch her videos, and um, she's got great cooking tips and all kinds of good stuff on there and recipes. Um, also, Ruth has a great recipe column if you go to eatdrinkbemerrymagazine.com, and uh, we also feature her holiday and celebration um, recipes on creativecelebrationsmagazine.com. Hi, Ruth. It's good to have you back on the show. Hi, How are you? Uh, hi, Nancy. Hey, hey. Hello, hey. Lisa. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Howard. How are you? Nice to see, talk to you. How are you doing? I'm good. good. Great. We, well, we're, all, we're hungry and we're thirsty, and, <laughs> and, and I'm saying, I was telling Nancy earlier, this isn't going to get any better for me with having the two of you on the show. How, how did you get into wine tasting, uh, Howard? Um, did... um, I was uh, working with my father. We owned a couple of restaurants, my family, and I helped the um, bartending, actually. That's how it started. Yeah. I was bartending, started to taste wines. And then after uh, the family sold the businesses, I had to have something to do, and I started to uh, look into maybe getting a store of my own. I said, had saved up some money, and uh, eventually I found a place, and I owned my own shop for about 15 years. That was not actually the case. I mean, as a matter of fact, we didn't drink much wine in my family before I even met Ruth, and then um, as I started to work in and around wine, I developed a, a feeling for it. It's almost like music or psychology or... Mm -hmm. uh, it's what you would measure. I mean. Anything that the, uh, the arts... You know, you just develop mm -hmm. an, uh, a, pa a feeling for it, and then you go on if you really have the passion. You have to have the passion. Some people have passion. You know, we have passions of everything, all types of things in life, and this people have a passion for wine. But I try not to discourage people who enjoy wine. The key to win wine is just you don't have to be passionate, uh, you know, really uh, art articulately, you know, pushy about it, but as long as you enjoy it, you just enjoy what you enjoy, learn you like, and then take it from there and enjoy it. It's part of a good, good thing in life. Learning takes uh, time also because I used to go with him to wine testing mm -hmm. and I develop also. I know wine. Not like him, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I know wine more than average person. Yeah, you can ask. Because I went with him to wine testing and each time you go to wine testing, we test at least 250 wines. <laughs> it sounds a lot, but it's not a lot because we don't... I want to come travel food. with you. <laughs> yeah, we don't swallow and there is good food there. There is yeah. great, the best food. We only fell over twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And when I we go to you. wineries, it's different. We yeah. pick the wineries. We pick wineries. We'll pick the wineries that normally we can't normally see or normally we don't try. Wineries are very small and eclectic where they're very small properties. They don't make a lot. Usually they uh, sell only to restaurants, right? Maybe they'll only sell to restaurants mm -hmm. and the stores can't get them. And these are the wines where they're, quote, unquote, what we call the uh, okay. high, high quality or cult wines we say at California. So being that you're a person who's always around all the wines, you want to pick something that you don't normally get to see all the time. And a lot of these wines go to auction later, and you can, you know, they're, they're worth a lot of money wow. later in the future. You think about our country, and, and I know that there's some um, regions that, you know, we have some old vines and, and some wineries that have been going for many years, but how do you look at our country um, in regards to the rest of the world, and you know, like France and Italy, that have been making wines for years? Do you think we're starting to really come up in the market there? Are, are we oh, doing better? Yeah, we've come a long way. California since the 50s and even the 40s and 30s with uh, the Mondavi family and so mm -hmm. England look wines and... Uh, Paul Masson, now we've come a, lo a long way. Having said that, you still can't beat the tradition and the historical background of the winemakers from Europe, especially from France, Bordeaux, and from Italy, because these people have the background. They've been around longer than us, that's for sure, and they've been making wine longer than us. So naturally, they're very good winemakers, and their family traditions keep going on into, throughout the century. That's all. And the age group, um, a lot of winemakers have told us that um, a, young, a younger generation is now taking up wine tasting as a hobby pretty much and it, compared to the last 20 years. I mean, it's just really starting to get a you know, younger group of people into wine, which yeah. I think is exciting. Yeah, um, yeah. And if you look at Valentine's Day right now, 
um, but any kind of romantic occasion. And, you know, everybody wants to have their romantic dinner and wine and dessert, but they really haven't developed their full palate for wine yet. Where would you start somebody? Well, it's very easy with a dessert wine. Well, not that. I shouldn't say that. Dessert wines are easy because they have the sweetness for the novice. So Mm -hmm. start them off with port. You get a nice, Mm -hmm. dark, rich flavor. You get that nice, fortified uh, uh, bit of uh, taste to it, which lends to the richness and the fullness in the body. And you can go to, uh, like I said, Muscat. That's a really terrific uh, grape. That's a great sweet honeyed mid palate. has a gorgeous sweetness to it. Um, Domestically, even in Washington State, you're getting a lot of the Rieslings that I spoke about. The semi-dry Rieslings, they go very nice uh, with a lot of the dessert foods and, like, cakes and things like that. Okay, so now we're, it's romantic dinner time. Okay, so, Ruth, we've, we're, we're getting the, the, the learn how to, you know, start tasting wine, okay, for a young couple that hasn't got into it yet. Um, what would you – I know we've got your cakes, but, Ruth, what would you serve for a romantic meal that is something easy for someone to cook that hasn't been in the kitchen that long? Oh, um, I will tell you, uh, meat stew, all the type of stew. Even you can make mm-hmm. chicken stew, it's very easy. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Everything that you have to cook, to leave it, I mean, on the stove for two hours, one hour, and just watch it and do other things, it's great. And you can add wine. And you can, you can use the wine, the, the wine left over also. If you have left over wine, you also you can use it. Right, Howie? Oh, yeah, yes. always left over. Left over. <laughs> wine, you can use it. Because I never cook with wine that I can drink. You know, I don't think I've ever had leftover wine. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking you were going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> you're also thinking, <laughs> yeah, we're both thinking like, what? What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 what about South African wines? Have you had a chance to... Very interesting to, question. South African wines, are there are some really good wineries, and the people in this country, in the United States, they haven't, uh, they haven't, and depending on what part of the country you're in, but like where I am in New York, for instance, we have a small amount of people, that, comparatively speaking, that will ask for South African wine. They're more and more asking for it, and there are a lot of wineries, big wineries around. Mm, that's big, and, yeah. uh Unfortunately, the good ones are up in the 20s, and now the average person doesn't want to spend $20 or $25, yeah. especially in this economy, for a wine mm-hmm. in South Africa, unfortunately. Mm. So Their white look. wines are incredible to me. Oh, the white to... wines are magnificent. They're, it's, it's, they're really up there. But I do want to go back to the romantic dinner thing, because you're going to have a nice dinner with your meat chew tonight, okay, with chestnuts, you've got your wine, and I'm not going to try and pronounce that because I can't. But you will, what you will music are you going to have in this what you are you going to have in the... Huh? I make uh, easy recipes. They're easy recipes. I like this. But easy recipes, what are you going to have yeah. playing in the background music-wise? Because I know you both love music. Uh, music, it's, a, it's music. A, my expert. Some uh, classical. Music, yeah. Some classical. Jesus, romantic. I, I won't be able to get my mind to the music. I'll be too busy eating and drinking. <laughs> 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 but well, it's always good to play on Mozart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Discipline and quantity. That's what I love about you on our shows, Ruth. You're always talking about it, keep the portion sizes. And, and, you know, I think that's where, you know, when you do buy a a bottle of fine wine, it's not like let's just guzzle it down because then you're not going to enjoy it. And I think that's something that we're still learning in this country. We've gone through the fast food nation, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think what's kind of enlightening now, you, you see people really turning around and going, you know what, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna spend a nice, you know, maybe I'll pay twenty, thirty, forty, fifty dollars for a bottle of wine, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna stay at home. I'm gonna have a nice romantic meal and and chill out because a lot of times all the overeating I think that's coming is just from people just scarf it down. They're so used to this high paced lifestyle that we have, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, sure. Especially with this economy, people are cooking more at home. Mm-hmm. You know, we're gonna do a wine fest. Um, on, we're gonna do a wine fest radio show. In the summer. So, Howard, I hope you come back on the show with us. Oh, that'd be for that. great. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you both for joining us. Thank I'll you, Nancy, and thank you, Lisa, on, on the and the happy Valentine's Day. Nice yes, to thank you, to you guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you for your dinner tonight. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take Bye-bye. care. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.